Yo, welcome to my channel War Draws a Lot. Obviously I'm War, or I wouldn't have named it War Draws a Lot. I love shoes. I love drawing shoes. I love buying them. I like having them. I like shoes, everything from like boots to sneakers to heels to platforms to basically all of them because they're all so cool and unique in their own different style. So of course, out of curiosity, I went to go look up like pink Air Force Ones because I would like to see what they would look like and of course there were none that I really liked. So I decided to make my own type of shoe which I think personally suits my style better than the ones that they gave as options. So that's what this video is, is just me making my own shoe and then I'm going to put it on a character for my own little kind of advertisement on the side which I think is a pretty cute idea. Let's get started. So boom. The first thing I did before I even started to draw the shoe was pick the color scheme because well that's the whole point of this is I wanted a specific color shoe but they didn't have it or they didn't have it the way I wanted. So I decided to go with the colors pink but more like a purplish pink and white and gold. I chose those three because pink is obviously the, the whole reason I'm doing this. White is a nice neutral tone so it doesn't overbear the whole color of the shoe of just being one color. And then gold uh, accents like um, would be like the little aglets, the little plastic tip at the end of the shoe along with on the side like a little cuff on the side that would be the gold part and then the W. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to put Nike anywhere or something like that because I don't know how they would have felt if I did that in a video and I ain't trying to get like sniped out here so there's also that factor. Um, for shoe reference, I didn't really need one because I've been practicing shoes a lot for like a few months now because I really wanted to learn how to draw them because again, <laughs> I like them a lot. I like them on characters, I like them on people, whatever. So I didn't really need to go and uh, look up what I needed, but all you have to do if you want to see a reference for shoes is literally just Google up um, shoe reference and then a bunch of stuff will come up from different artists or like there's some pictures where people are physically taking their shoe and showing you how it looks like from different angles. Those were awesome when I was studying how to use them. So for the most part, I'm pretty comfortable with drawing the shoes now. For the character that I'm doing the little so-called ad for, um, I decided to do a little thumbnail sketch right there in the bottom right of the paper just to kind of get an idea of how he's going to look like. I also wanted to do something that would show off the shoes because obviously if I'm not drawing the entire character on the page. What's the point of having like a shoe quote unquote ad? Because you, you, you can't not have the main product in something that you're trying to show off. But yeah, so, so I made sure to fit the shoes in and made sure to give it a pose to where you could definitely see it on the character. Once I mess, once, wow, once I messed around with the pose enough, I put on the clothing and the wrinkles in accordance and afterwards I just began to line everything. I actually really enjoyed the lining process this time because I was lining something different than just a character. I was doing an item which of course is the shoe so I also had fun lining them in their different angles and stuff and I think it's nice to always do multiple references of what you're going to be doing because you need that base point so it's like if you just draw how the shoe looks like from one angle then it's going to be confusing from all other angles unless you do it um multiple times just so you can get your hand and your brain used to it so i always suggest if you're doing something do it multiple times when it comes to like items or something that you really want to get down perfect so i really like the line art and it was to the point where i was like i don't want to color it but of course I ended up coloring it because I, I have to. <laughs> there's, there's no way I'm not going to color something. So as I'm coloring it at that time, I'm like, man, this looks like trash. <laughs> I was like, I don't like the way this is coming out. But then now looking back at it, I actually really like it. And I think um, a lot of us, we tend to uh, poopy on ourselves in the middle of drawing something. And um, sometimes that changes our view or skews our view towards how we're doing on how we're progressing but don't don't beat yourself up too hard in the middle of your drawing look at it afterwards and then really see how you went through that drawing and what was your process and if you 
liked or didn't like it but uh looking back at this i actually really like it i uh, the coloring isn't as bad as my head thought it was gonna be slash says it was so yeah you never know how things are until you look at it again after a few days and with like different uh different eyes so to speak but besides that part i colored it in the shoes first because i really wanted to see it come to life with those colors that i chose because anyone can have just like the stock base shoe but what makes it yours or what makes it what you want it to be is how you design it so having the the pink tongue with the pink outsides and the pink bottoms um i think that came together nicely with the white on the inside and i really think that it left um a nice cohesive design to where it wasn't too overbearing like the entire shoe being pink or or you know like a bunch of different things that could have affected the factor of making it look too overbearing for the character's outfit, I decided to include another pink element, which would be the sweater. So this way it doesn't look like the shoes are kind of out of context with the outfit. That's what I personally do in my outfits too as well. So like if I have a shoes, I might match my shirt with it or my hijab or anything of the sort just to make it look like it's all put together nicely. Um, so like him wearing the pink sweater along with the pink shoes, I feel like looked really nice together. And then just having like a pair of joggers a, a pair of black joggers in specific to kind of like even everything out so it's not too much pink in the outfit I think helped make it a whole solid look on him and which would I think make sense if this was an ad because you don't want someone looking at your little ad and being like oh that's there's too much going on you want simplicity so it's easy for people to read and to see and to basically enjoy because if they enjoy looking at something they might enjoy buying it and having it as well it's all about representation when it comes to something like that i'm so mad i'm speaking about this like it's an actual ad that like people are going to see everywhere when it's just a drawing in the drawing book and most likely it's just going to be me and whoever watches this video who's going to end up seeing it so there's that Anyway, I would totally wear the shoe that I made, because obviously <laughs> I made it to my taste. And I might just actually make it happen with some paint. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, remember I love you. Goodbye.